Hi, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video, we are going to be demonstrating the iPluck Game Bird Plucker, uh, which was sent to me by uh, Ryan over at HatchingTime.com. Uh, this plucker uh, is a has a max capacity of 10 pounds or up to six game birds. Uh, the efficient plucking time is about 30 to 40 seconds, and it fits pheasants, partridge, grouse, pigeon, woodcock, and other small game bird animals. Uh, it's got a 180 watt electric motor in it. So the drum on this unit measures uh, 15 inches across by 12 inches tall, and the uh, plucker fingers are inch and five eighths deep. Um, on the drum and also on the rotator plate. Uh, the entire housing, the motor housing and the discharge chute along with the feet are all made out of, feels like a pretty durable ABS plastic. Uh, you got stainless steel bolts holding on the feet and on the back side of the plucker is the on off switch. So uh, I've got some water heating up here on the uh, burner and I'm gonna go ahead while that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and process these birds and get them ready to uh, be scalded and then put into the plucker. Okay, so I've got all the birds dispatched. I'm gonna go ahead and scald them. Uh, according to their instructions, they say the water temperature needs to be between 145 and 155 degrees. Um, I've got a little thermometer here. Let me check our water. And it is about 150 degrees right now, so that should be perfect. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just take the birds and uh, dip them into the water for about uh, 30 to 45 seconds and then they'll go into the plucker. Okay, it says uh, you want to let them uh, sit for about uh, 40 seconds in the uh, plucker, and it also helps to spray a little bit of water on there just to kind of help wash the feathers and whatnot out the discharge chute. Okay, so the plucker seemed like it did a really nice job, uh, with the exception of maybe a few uh, feathers on the wing tips. Uh, pretty much removed all the feathers from the bird. Okay, and clean up on these is real easy. Uh, basically, just uh, hose it out with a garden hose. All the feather and other debris will just flush right out the uh, discharge chute and let her dry up and put her away, and you're ready to go next time. Okay, so the plucker did a really nice job of cleaning these birds. It pulled out pretty much every feather with the exception of maybe one or two on the wingtips, which is totally normal. Uh, there are no tears in the skin, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I think this plucker is going to make a wonderful addition to my quail operation. Uh, it seems like it's well built. Um, time will tell as far as, you know, how the durability of it is. But I can tell by the build here, um, with the exception of the motor, there's not a whole lot that can really go wrong with it. So um, I want to thank HatchingTime.com for sending me that. I also want to thank them. They, they threw in a, uh, a drill attachment plucker, which I am going to give that a try and uh, see how well that does. But uh, all in all, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this plucker. And uh, I think it's going to, you know, help me be a little bit more efficient when I'm cleaning birds. So guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this, uh, you know, a little bit enjoyable. Um, if you're looking to get a plucker, uh, check out uh, hatchingtime.com. They've got a full line of pluckers from the small game bird size all the way up to, you know, the big fowl, the chickens and turkeys and whatnot. Um, but yeah, check them out. Uh, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos if you hit that notification bell. So guys, thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.